Hi, sunshines, and go back to our channel, Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lorian. And welcome to Treatment Tuesday. It is Treatment Tuesday. This video is not going to be the treatment part yeah. of it. We are actually, what did you say, putting on our carpenter's hat? We're going to be fixing my things. My carpenter's belt, my tool belt. And you're putting on the carpenter's hat. Carpenter's hat, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be fixing our Cure Redo steamers. Um, we've mentioned Cure Redo on our channel before. Let's show them. I, okay. Here's a Cure Redo steamer. Okay. okay. Cure Redo handheld steamer. They are hair steamers, right? Mm -hmm. We have mentioned them on our channel before. We have a video with them. I think a couple. We have quite a, a few. Videos. Yeah. Yes. And then we stopped using them. Yeah, last year this time we were using these hot and heavy. I was sitting and you were giving me treatment, spa treatments, and we were loving these. Yeah. And we were talking about them. Um, quite a bit last year. We were on our videos. Yeah, and we stopped using them because they stopped working. Like the steam wasn't billowing out. Like the steam's supposed to come out of it. And it's supposed to like you can steam your hair with it. Mm -hmm. You can stretch your hair with it. You can refresh your curls with it. There's a lot you can do. And with we these weren't the only ones who stopped speaking about them. A lot of um, you guys were stopped. Were starting to stop speaking about them because we all kind of at the same time. We all kind of got them around the same time, and they all were kind of like at the same time yeah so okay. both of these are about a year old yeah so we've had them for a year and we haven't used them and i would say at least maybe they're older than a year i don't know i we i know we haven't used them in months though we haven't used them in months yes. last time we used them was almost like a year ago so maybe they're two years old yeah, they're, you they're had a couple years before old. i had mine yeah then when we wanted to start doing the whatever on our channel last year we they did come in handy on our channel yeah they sent another one um so that we would both would, ha would both have one on our channel right okay yeah so with that said we tried to bring them, they stopped working, and we tried to bring them back to life with about June. About June. About June by 2018. Going, yeah, by going to the qb -Doo website. Yeah. And they were saying, which probably anyone that has a qb -Doo knows the familiar fix-it trick of the water and the, dis the distilled water and the vinegar, white right. vinegar, putting it in the reservoir and running it, letting it run through whatever it runs through. Mm -hmm. And then they get you steaming again. Right. However... Ours didn't really work, so one of them absolutely did not work at all. I have the one that's just not working, so, like, nothing is coming out. It's mm -hmm. just making noise. Nothing's coming out of this one. Um, you have the one that's actually, it didn't, it worked at the time. No, it, it didn't work at the time. Back in June, we tried to fix it. Mm -hmm. And then we did the vinegar trick with this one, and it worked, but when you turned it certain ways, the steam would stop. Now, today, it's coming out, so press it, and this you should see. the way it's supposed to look. A lot of steam should come out. Yeah, this is the way. You see that steam right there? Oh, too bad we don't have anything black to put yeah. there. You're, you're kind of like, show. they should be able to see it, though. Okay. Like, you can just see the steam is just, a lot of steam is coming yeah. out. So this one, oh, let me just put something. They can totally behind. see that. Can they see that? Okay. Yeah. They can totally see, see that. There we go, steam better. Steam is coming out. So yeah. this one okay. didn't want to look busted on the screen today. So yeah. this this is working. We're still going to, like, it run wanted, something through that one. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So, but that's the um, way it should it should look, and it wasn't looking like that back in June. Today I plugged it in, and it's pumping through, and it smells like white vinegar, so we must have just left it in there. So, be, yeah, before we went to Georgia, we tried fixing both of them, and one was yours, one was mine. We don't remember whose is whose now, but we did the white vinegar and the water trick and let it run through, and when we got back, we were gone for about, what, four or five days? Yeah. When we got back, the first thing we did was run up and grab these one simply did not work this one splurted out some steam and then it stopped like she said as we kind of like manipulated it navigated it around our head it yeah. stopped so we just got frustrated threw it in the drawer we and that the whole was thing. the end of that okay yeah. um we mentioned it quite a few times i was very vocal about it on the channel stating that they cost so much and it's a doggone shame that these um very expensive items very useful very useful yeah i'm um, just not working right. not with only us but quite a few people we heard mm -hmm. this about so i said can we do really need to do something about this well somebody snitched on mad curls somebody snitched okay y'all know a snitch somebody is name dropped <laughs> somebody named on dropped. one of their comments and they're like, or like mad curl said okay yeah. and so then they reached out to us and they said we like heard that you guys were having problems with your qb do and we want to get y'all steaming again mm -hmm. so they said now either you can we'll send you new ones or we will send you the kit to fix because now when you get these brand new they send you what we're going to show you today yeah that automatically comes with the kit mm -hmm. so of course me money bags what did i want you wanted a brand new steamer you're like <laughs> i want a new steamer and i was like no mom i was like we can't go from saying these, this product is basically like it's busted it's not working for us i'm like to now showing up here we are treatment tuesday here's our cure reduce y'all be like what like i'm like so let's act like 
which we are. I'm like, we're consumers. consumers. I'm like, let's get the kit and try to get them working again. And be like what you guys would do when you reach out to QB do your steamers are not working. And this is what we're, we're going to take you through the process that we are going to go through the process. Though this one started working because we let the vinegar sit for four months in here. So today when we tried it, it is working as yeah. we showed. There's the steam coming out. Okay. This we haven't even tried. So now we're going to be consumers just like you. When this kit arrives in the mail, when you reach oh, out to snap. them. Oh, snap. That one did too. <laughs> Maybe because it felt so bad, it was a shame. Wait, it had some release. It had it competed against this one. Oh my god, what now? All right, but regardless, that's that's amazing. Okay. All right, so all right, you know what? Did you do anything today to it? No, I didn't do anything to it. It was well, they saw it in the beginning before. It was click 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 click. So this is new to everybody and me right now. Okay. Like I spoke called macros busted <laughs> channel. Okay. Either way, we're gonna flush them out anyway. We're gonna flush them out. We're flushing them out anyway we're walk because through. what we do is we have hard water in our house, so they they suggest. <laughs> that's amazing neither one of these were working for months i don't know what's going on right now wow oh my gosh okay. i'm All blushing right. like yeah. i'm embarrassed i don't know okay. i don't know All right, well, anyway i don't know but i'll okay. show you what when you send for the kid this is unless you just stand over your thing and just talk crap about it maybe you'll feel bad like a heart did and start working again all right okay so we each have a squeezy bottle okay. right and then they we have this we have like these little tubes Okay, so it's in this and this. This is the so this fix is it like kit. The two B thing. Okay, so these are the directions. We also bought some cutie do distilled water. So because we have hard water in our house, and that probably adds to. Um, I'll insert a picture of that. Okay. Um, that probably adds to the mineral buildup. They said minerals and deposits, which we use hard water on our steamers, which probably is not good. We're not supposed to do that. So now we know. Okay, while you're doing filling yours, I'll read what they say. So it says QB do, and it says occasionally the QB do will heat and pump will run, but this but no steam is produced. So the pump run, you heard that like that noise. Okay, there is a simple solution. The QB do relies on a pump to move water from the reservoir, which is the reservoir, which is this. Mm -hmm. Okay, into the unit. When the pump is dry, it cannot pull in water. The solution is simple. The pump needs to be primed. This is the nature of this type of pump, and in no means that the unit is and in no way means that the unit is defective, which I thought it was. I said it was defective. Okay. This same process can be used to flush a unit of mineral deposits and debris from the water that may occasionally block the flow of steam. Okay, so here important maintenance instructions, and now you're doing what that what the yes, instructions so say. So I'm filling it all the way up, and I'm gonna leave a little space because I'm gonna put some vinegar in here. So they say retain these instructions in the squeeze bottle for future reference. Should we do priming and flushing kit instructions? What you will need is this a small towel, which is what you have on your lap, mm -hmm. water, which is what you have right there, distilled, distilled water. Distilled water. The tubing and squeeze bottle provided in your QB do box, um, which we sent for because now the new ones are going to be provided with that, but ours was not. Yours probably are not the um, old ones. If you got them last year, they were not. So what they will send you White is the squeeze bottle and um, the, the, the tubing. tubing. Yeah, this little tubing thing right here. They will send you that. White vinegar for units with a mineral deposit blockage. And that's the white vinegar right there. So then you fill the squeeze bottle to the top with water. That's what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the unit has steamed in the past but now has a blockage, you can add a teaspoon of white vinegar to the bottle and dilute with water. The vinegar will remove minerals and deposits. And so that's what you are doing now with the vinegar. Okay, attach the tubing to the tip of the squeeze bottle which you're getting ready to demonstrate. Okay. So here's yours, here's mine. Okay. Okay. So there's like a piece in here. Oh crap, you guys can't see that. Hold on. Wait, okay, it's back here. There's like a little piece right here. So you attach this tubing to that piece and then you attach it to the squeeze bottle as well. Okay, it says attach the tubing to the tip of the squeeze bottle. Hold on. So now as a consumer. So it'll like stick out like this. If you can see that, it attaches right in here. Okay. I'll have to zoom in on that when so I that, put it. Oops. Okay. So like that's that. Pretty. And then you attach the squeeze bottle to the tip. Okay. You did that first. Mm -hmm. Did you try doing it the way that I'm doing it now? No. Okay. I'm following the directions the way they do. What made you do it that first? I'm just curious. Because either way, you're going to attach it. See? It's okay. A, it's this is completely attached now. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, so even though the directions say part uh, number two, attach the tubing to the tip of the squeeze bottle, I think you made sense where you went to part three, uh, number three, attach the tube to the QB do water intake nozzle. I think that is more, yeah, it's more effective because this right. keeps popping off here. So this is completely attached now, and now 
you squeeze it through. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, okay. That That's more focused. Wow, yeah. Wow. So how were we doing it before when you we were that? getting the directions off of Google and everything else? How um, are we doing that? We were sticking it in the reservoir and then clicking it through, but this actually, like, the hole is where the water goes through when the, res when the reservoir is, um, is attached. Awesome. So, Did yeah. you put vinegar in this? Yes. Okay. So, so every time I squeeze it, you see it completely cleaning it out. Oh, this is lit. Okay. It's so cool, right? It's very cool. It's cleaning it out. They got us steaming again. Are you pressing the button? No, I'm not. It's just coming out. Okay. Having technical difficulties. I am. Well, you know what? You might have to flip it. Because it should, because it, before, um, it should sit like nicely on there. So this might be for this There's side. There's one side that's a little fatter than the other side, right? Yes. So this should slide all the way down. There we go. There Without we coming go. out. There so are, hold, hold both, it up. Both sides, the, the one side is a little fatter than the other. And then and when then. you, when you squeeze it, it should come out. Okay. There, there, there we go. go. Wow. Right before your very eyes, folks. Yep. I like when folks say stuff works and then it really does like it says it's supposed to. Awesome. Thank you, Curie Doo. Thank you, Curie Doo. Decay. Decay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah, if you are somebody who has a Curie Doo already and yours does not work, I would highly recommend reaching out to the company for this little piece because clearly mm -hmm. this makes a difference. And the the vinegar, at least for this, this kind of blockage, what was wrong with our, um, our steamers is mm -hmm. one, I think we let the, we weren't using distilled water and two, we were letting the water sit too long and it was just like a lot of buildup in there. So the white vinegar absolutely does work. And, and um, this is more concentrated. And um, I like to cover all my bases because I'm always a what if, what if, what if person. I'm a question asker. I'm just relentless with that. If you got a new one this year and it didn't come with this, then say you heard the new ones are supposed to, like that's a part that's missing because they might have some stock left from last year and just grabbing them off the shelf and just sending you whatever. And maybe there's some leftover stock that don't have these little fix-it kits. So just reach out and just say you need the fix-it kit because this really is a no-brainer once you have this. It really yeah. gets you, as I say, steaming again. Yeah. That's and I, um, oh, I'm wow, actually really miracle. excited because I absolutely love these. And if you don't have a Cure Redo, mm -hmm. I'm going back to saying what I originally said last year. You need a Cure Redo steamer. Yeah. I think they're absolutely amazing. If I mean, some people sit under steamers, sit under dryers, whatever. Like I always loved my Cure Redo. I always loved putting my deep conditioner in and using the Cure Redo, just yeah. running it through my hair. So I am very excited that I'm steaming again because I love the Cure Redo. And because Christmas is coming up, their Black Friday sale is like the their best sale of the year. So keep your eyes out. I think that's where you save the most money. A year. I'm the customer that's that's gonna be a pain in the neck. Okay, so Why? I'm the typical pain in the neck customer. What's, All right, so mine is not working as smoothly as you. Maybe because my hands don't work like your hands anymore. But I need to show you need to show how mine can work just as effortlessly as yours. Okay. All right. I'm okay. the problem customer. Oh, okay, so I'm, I'm attaching it right now. Okay. I'm gonna hold it up, and I'm going to squeeze. Okay. So it is something that is difficult for and me personally to navigate, but it, but, but there but, it is billowing out. But it does once you navigate it, it does work. So get yourself a young daughter if you're struggling. <laughs> if you're my age and you're struggling, get somebody young that can do it Just for you. Just take your take your time with it. Uh -huh. You stick it in, you squeeze it. It's gonna come out. Yes, awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Here. Okay. So they're like we'll go back to what we said last year. They're they're phenomenal. Yeah, they, they are. Really are. And if so, you want to see them in action. Stay tuned for our next video, our Treatment Tuesday video. We separated the two because just in case people are having a problem with their QB dues, we figured they don't need to see um, us um, doing our treatment. Maybe they're not interested in that. So we figured we'd separate the two for those that might want to YouTube um, a video on how to fix your QB do. Here we are. And then they'll find Mad Curls. Hey, welcome to our channel. And if you're not, you just want to like back out, then yeah. um, we're just going to separate the two. So, so yeah. some tips. Um, at least tips I'm going to start following. After each use, definitely clean out your reservoir. Don't leave water in this just to hang out and chill. Um, try to use distilled water. Definitely try. We were using hard water, and that probably mm -hmm. definitely added to the buildup now that we got our yeah. machines working again. They are expensive. They are great tools. So yes. just, we'll keep distilled water in the house to use what we're supposed to use. Yes. And, um, 
yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. We'll see how but this I'm, goes. I'm really glad. I like when there's a problem and companies do something about it. And so now, much respect to Pewdie Do, because you know, y'all, I can talk crap, but I can definitely back it up and um, swallow what I said when, when it's reversed. <laughs> so I really appreciate the fact. So, um, yeah. Yeah. This it was, was cool. It's Thank great. you so much. So, yeah, I'm glad because it just didn't tie for a Treatment Tuesday. Okay, that's it. All right. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, comment down below, and we will see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. Bye. Bye.